All right, y'all. So this is part two. Go back to part one to catch up. I'm talking about divine masculine, okay? Um, but I ain't gonna go too deep in it because I want you to go back. All right. But however, I'm gonna pull some tarot on this because I want to see what's happening here. Um, as far as this energy with divine masculine, tell me about this king energy. Tell me about the divine masculine. Seven seven is on the card. On top of that, make sure you paying paying attention to number synchronicities. I feel like you know you guys have completed out a cycle major cycles man i'm telling you the last cycle was like one of the hardest cycles whatsoever because i feel like our spirit team dug down into the vault y'all okay dug into the vault of our subconscious mind and pulled all that shit up out of us okay now let's see what's going on here but that was to push you to this point yep five of wands comes out in a reverse position so as i'm seeing it off the bat this is the end of conflict here whatever the power struggles Y'all are actually going to reach an agreement, okay? Because now you are in harmony with self is what I just heard. Yep. Eight of Pentacles and Judgment card comes out. Yeah. Y'all going to be able to work together. Um, I do definitely feel like here with that Patience card coming out, you've learned how to let go of the control, okay? Or you're going to be learning how to do that, remaining patient for the rest of the duration of whatever spirit has up has um has for you with that judgment energy coming through right judgment has already been called it's off the back so just already know that um your situation is going to align because why it's faded it's just going to require you to get into alignment so that the rest of this can you know really play out because the journey is about your awakening and so the daily choices that you make this is what's aligning you with your life purpose so what i'm seeing here is that of course we go through these cycles right and what we're being called to work on and how I'm seeing it with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like eight things that your spirit guides may have given you that you had to really master, all right, in order to get to, to the union aspect of it. Some of you may have to, had to get a new job. Some of you may be working on self-employment, building a business, trading, whatever it is, your reputation, working on um, a, a vocation. Some of you may be working on your own self-love, right? Being committed to you, accomplishing certain goals. It's like, whatever it is, it's like, it's some things that you had to do and, and to learn. You may have even had to repeat some cycles, okay? <laughs> because yeah, it takes a lot for us to overcome our own selves. So I do definitely see here that it's like, now you're beginning to reconcile these differences with yourself and you're reaching an agreement here with yourself. And this is what's being able to help you balance these masculine and feminine energies within. Okay, so this is about your awakening um, at the end of the day. And every time that you ascend on this journey, every time that you close out these cycles, you get closer and closer to your happiness. So find the mental strength if you're still kind of in a fear-based fear energy to release that. This is about your awakening. So don't forget why you are on this journey is not about you and your masculine being in a relationship. <laughs> I know that's what a lot of us desire. It's one of the biggest desires. It's like, this is what we've been on a quest for. Love, right? True love. Not realizing that the, the love that we were looking for is inside of us, right? It's faded. The connection is faded. All will come together. OK, but this the, the purpose of this journey is for you to recognize who you are at the core. That you are love. OK, so just remember that, y'all, every time that you kind of like slip up and be like, my masculine ain't doing this, they doing this and doing that. Da, 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 da. If this is not working. Then hush, because you're pulling yourself out of alignment and you delay in the progress. Hush your mouth. Tell your subconscious, tell your ego, shut the fuck up because you delay in the progress. We got work to do. So you begin to turn that negative energy off. Don't even dial it down. Turn that shit off. Flip the switch so that you can be able to go back into a more positive thinking and a different perspective about this so that you can continue closing out these cycles and healing. Okay. Because, um, Whatever is going on, I, I definitely feel like some of you could be very overwhelmed. But this is a time for you to come out of isolation. This is a time for you to release the stress. Because when it comes to this nine of cups being in the reversible, you're looking for some wishes to come true. 
your dreams are not shattered, Divine Feminine. I've made um, a video yesterday in regards to that, um, more just channeling without the cards. But speaking about that, your dreams are not shattered. Move into a state of joy. The universe is abundant. Like I said, this is already faded. So you constantly staying in a state of fear and being anxious is only delaying the manifestation of your desires. This was in a reverse. So release your disappointment, okay, in your own abilities. Because if divine masculine isn't coming in and isn't coming in correctly, sorry to say it, I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not wholeheartedly your fault, but it has a lot to do with your energy and what you're holding on to. Normally it's because we're holding on to some unprocessed grief or resentment, okay? That's why. The connections have not come together. Five, five, five. Divine time had to kick in because guess what? Divine feminine ego was in a way. Divine masculine ego was too. But divine feminine, this is our, this is divine feminine's journey. Like I'm coming forward with all, right? Because I'm divine feminine. All right, no. Just a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, me and my um ego was in a, my ego was winning. My ego was kicking my highest self ass. I was ready to throw in the towel. Like, you know what? I'm done. Like, how am I supposed to help anybody else? Like, because, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm over this, right? Because we want to protect ourselves to keep ourselves from being hurt, okay? But what our spirit team has been saying to us over and over again is the worst is behind you. Like, y'all, why you don't believe? <laughs> because you keep looking at this connection through your 3D lens, right? No, am I saying it right? Yeah. Instead of looking at it through the 5D lens, instead of looking at it through a different perspective, right? Like you got to look at this situation from your, from a higher perspective. You can't look at this <laughs> through that and through those means. This is not that type of connection. You're dealing with a soul connection. Everything that you do operates through your soul. So you have to allow your soul to lead on this. All right. So the next card came out was take me home. <laughs> For some of you, I'm hearing, it's like you and your twin may share something together where it's like home. It's like your home base. It's like you feel like home to them. And that's how I feel. I feel like you guys are both calling each other back home. Your souls are calling each other back home. This is the pathway to true love. Now, let me read this. 1111 is on this card. So most likely we're going to have a part three because I want to read the integration card and then I'll close out. So it says, when you align with real love, it will always lead you home. A journey into your heart where you discover true self-love. You have faced many fears along your path that have revealed the mysteries to achieving great love. This process has healed and restored your enlightened heart, helping you feel both whole and complete. You are free to not only love, but to be loved. You are finding beauty in your painful journey and realizing the true essence of unconditional love for your twin flame. You are seeing the gift they have given you by taking you home. As a result, you can now emerge as the highest version of yourself and experience the depth of great love that you would not have known otherwise. You are home-based, Divine Feminine. Why? Because home is where the heart is, right? But on top of that, the truest how can I say it? Um, mm, your true love is you. Let's just put it that way. Your true love is you. Yourself. Tune into your heart on a regular basis. When you pay attention to your feelings, it will help you experience peace and find harmony in both giving and receiving divine love. The Take Me Home card serves as a reminder to embrace your journey with gratitude. Because your heart is now free to live fearlessly. I feel like it's free to live fearlessly and it's free to love fearlessly. Okay, so let's take, look, take me home, sir. Tell me what it's about. Tell us what the take me home card is about. <clears throat> Ooh, making a decision. Two of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups, y'all. Woo, this is about balance. Okay, there was a lack of balance here between you and your person and you and your desires and you and yourself. 
check this out. Stay tuned for part three. I didn't even realize where the time had got. I'll see y'all in a few seconds.